Benton and said to Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, <laughs> the scarecrow came to save the day as usual. Benjamin had a plan. Benjamin decided that he would work with the scarecrow to rescue Peter. The friendly sparrows flew about hysterically around the garden because they knew the white cat was coming back. The white cat started to dance around the pond. She could smell the rabbits. In the white cat. The scarecrow explained the plan to Peter. So everyone could hear. I need the shorts with the pants. Shorts. I need to untop it somehow because they look so see through. Please look at the best one in the next day as well. when Mr. McGregor wasn't looking, and Benjamin and Peter would push and push the gate. And since Peter had eaten double his own weight in vegetables that morning, it should be no trouble to open the gate at all. The friendly sparrows left. They had other business to attend to. McGregor looked up. He realized he just missed those two rabbits, and he said, you. Dirty rabbit. He picked up his rake and he went off and sunk. <coughs> Scene six. Bedtime in the burrow. Without a pond. Rabbit. 
you look like you need some parsley and herbal tea. Hey! Here you are, my darling. I bet he's been up to no good again. Okay. Are you tired, my darling? <laughs> Let's take you into bed. <coughs> good night, love. Mummy. Yes, darling. I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. <laughs>